and I don't want to be trapped mm. by what somebody else thinks I should be. And so I'm not worried that I don't get some of the things that some of the other people got, and I'm happy for the people who get whatever it is they got. I happen, well, I mean, you know, whatever is going around. Uh, in terms of writers, uh, I only know, and, and I, no disrespect to anybody here, but I only know two that I consider absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. And uh, Toni Morrison is, is, is the first, and Sula and the bluest eye, I mean, just, just mm -hmm. she's incredible. Mm -hmm. And if I would ever be on the Nobel people again, uh, Edwidge Dadeke. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Good. Edwidge is just an, an, just an incredibly, incredibly brilliant young lady. And uh, she should get, talk about getting your flowers before you you know, before you're dead. Uh, Ed Witt should, should have, she More should flowers. have a Nobel. And uh, just because what she's done is, uh, is just incredibly brilliant. I was sorry, uh, and, and I think of it as prejudice, frankly speaking. I was sorry that uh, Bobby Dylan mm -hmm. got uh, 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 a Nobel for music and not Marvin Gaye. Because what's, what's going on is the most brilliant, uh, mm -hmm. of, of terms of, it's just mm -hmm. the most brilliant one. And, and you get, you get kind of sick of, them taking our music and getting credit for it. And so I, I just thought, no, Marvin, and of course Marvin's gone, yeah. but uh, Marvin Gaye should have gotten that because, uh, mm. and if you're gonna do the living, then there's only one, uh, there's only one other person, as Stevie Wonder. Stevie yeah, yeah, because he's just brilliant. And I don't think Stevie knows or cares. I mean, I'm not, you know, I, but you know, you just get tired of being overlooked. Mm. And so you have to be my age to recognize that overlooked is probably the best thing to be because you, you remain sane and happy. 